Condemore Vanderbilt was born on May 27, 1794, at Staten Island, New York, to Cornelius, his father, Phoebe, his mother, who immigrated to America in the mid-1600s. His father was strict and cruel, more of a cynic than a father, insisting that he be realistic and act like a real boy. His mother wasn't much better, she only cared that he was a hard worker and nothing more. At age 11, he quit school to work on a cargo steamship in New York called the Swiftsure. His first year, he would go on to earn $1,000, or $32,192 in today's currency. A few short years later, he would wed his beautiful cousin in 1813, and it appeared to be going a great. He had 13 wonderful kids. William, born May 8, 1821, to December 8, 1885. Cornelius, born on December 29, 1830, to April 2, 1888. Francis, born in 1828, to 1868. Sophia, born 1825, to 1912. Elizabeth, born 1817, to 1889. Phoebe, born 1814 to 1871, Maria, born 1827 to 1896, Eliza, born 1819 to 1890, Mary, born 1834 to 1902, George, born 1839 to 1864, Emily, born 1823 to 1896, and Catherine, born 1838 to 1881. But his wife then died in 1868. But Vanderbilt wasn't single for long. He then married Alice Claypool, his second wife, who was also another cousin. Fun fact, his second wife was younger than his first son. In the early 1850s, he found his passion in the railroad industry during the gold rush. He transported prospectors from New York to San Francisco. This is where he met his biggest competitor, James, who was born on April 1st, 1835 in Ponwell, Vermont, to January 7th, 1872 in New York City. He was known for being a robber baron with Jay Gold during the Erie Railroad War that lasted from 1867 to 1868. He then proceeded to make one million dollars in his first year, 32 million dollars today. During the Civil War, Cornelius Vanderbilt was the largest and fastest steamship in the Vanderbilt and built for around a million dollars to the Union Navy. The vessel was used to chase down Confederate raiders. In his final years, he did donate to charity like Rockefeller and other people who would be in his seat did. Instead, he gave a million dollars to build a college in Tennessee. He died at the age of 82 years old on January 4, 1877, in his home in Manhattan. He was buried at Morven Cemetery in New Drop, Staten Island where he still is buried today. Today his net worth totals $2.67 billion, which easily lands him in the top 400 richest people in America. Some fun facts about Commodore Vanderbilt is that he had 11 kids in 8 years. And did you know that he slept with each one of the legs of his bed in a pile of salt, believing that it kept evil spirits away from him while he slept. Commodore once sumo wrestled James Fisk. <laughs>